Okay, we just picked Macy up from uh, Animal Clinic of Oxford. Oxford is like two hours south of us, but they are the doctor that did Macy's surgical AI last time um, with the Macy Miles litter. And so I really love Dr. Payne. Um, all the doctors there went to Ole Miss. They were very professional and did a really good job with her in hitting the timing of the breeding, which is really important um, with the frozen semen. So um, she was there. She actually ended up being there for like a week um, because we were down in Florida for fall break with the kids. So it ended up hitting on that week. So she was already there. Um, being boarded for the week while we were um, on vacation. And basically what they do is day five or to set five or seven of her heat. What baby? Ice cream is as costly as the dark in So day five through seven is when you really um, start the progesterone. But I knew that she was, she ovulates later. So we went ahead and started the progesterone on day seven. Um, and then they did it, I think day 10 um, and day 12 and day 14. And so um, day 12 she was at a five and then day 10 she was at um hey good how are you anyway we were at sonic and they came up and gave us our order macy sit she's super wanting that corn dog shelby's having anyway um day 12 she was at a five and day 14, she was at a 10. So you really want to see it going, stop waving that corn dog. You're going to lose it. Macy, sit down, sit. No, ma'am, sit down. Thank you. Um, she, uh, I can't even think half the time. Anyway, you want to see her get to eight and you want to see that double jump in between the two and that says that she's ovulate and then we count four days out so she had the surgical ai done tuesday which was yesterday um and she was still woozy so they didn't want me to pick her up till the afternoon but the kids get off of school and again i had to drive two hours down here so it just worked out that i pick her up on wednesday morning so anyway, we're just picking her up. So we're super excited to see her because we hadn't seen her all week because we've been down in Florida, but everything went good. The sperm was good, he said. He's like, I think we hit it right on the nail. You normally have like a six hour window that you catch the ovulation um, with frozen semen. Um, and I'll try to add in to this um, how we do the breeding. It's not the traditional kind. I feel like I've said that before in a video I did about the OFA and I just never, I forgot to mention it again. But I'll try to add that to this video so that the puppy buyers know where the dogs are coming from and everything that we do from start to finish. So anyway, um, Macy's back with us and we just stopped for lunch. I'm about to eat in a second. And then um, uh, we're gonna head home and I know she's gonna be so excited to be back at her couch. Um, I hate to have her, um, uh, one of our neighbors watched Georgia and the cat and the chickens, but um, Macy, I knew she was about to go into heat and so she had to be down here because when we were going on vacation, I didn't know any other way to do it. Um, I didn't have anybody that I was, I didn't have anybody that I wanted to ask to drive two hours with her. So, um, anyway, we're glad to have her back and glad that everything went well. <laughs> She's going to get that hot dog. <laughs> you keep swinging it like that. <laughs> She's like, why do you think you eat a hot dog? Anyway, um, so basically, <laughs> so basically now, um, we wait 30 days and I didn't even get the due date from the doctor. I meant to do that and I meant to ask when I can give her a bath because she is in desperate need of that. 
but um, 30 days from yesterday, we'll go in and get an ultrasound and hopefully confirm pregnancy. I can normally tell a week or so before that because she starts to get swollen. Um, but uh, hopefully we'll have puppies and then I'm thinking it's gonna be around like the week of Christmas. I think like earlier in that week, right when the kids get off of school is when we would have puppies. Um, and then they would be ready to go home sometime in the first couple of weeks of February, if my calculating was right, when I was kind of thinking about things. Um, so, anyway, I was, I didn't know if we were going to have another litter, um, while we're here in Tennessee. So, um, uh, my husband is in the military and so we move every two to three years and we've been here in Tennessee <clears throat> next summer will be three years so we're coming what baby oh yeah I forgot about that so there we're coming up on a move and we're gonna be moving to um, Jacksonville North Carolina um, Camp Lejeune and so um I didn't know it my husband has to go to a training and I can't do this without him so if um it's just very taxing Mom. and so what give me it give you oh the drink um it's just I put the straw in and then I forgot to give it to you it's just very taxing and so um my uh, husband is leaving in the spring and I didn't know when Macy was going to go into heat so I had to kind of wait and see if it was something that we could fit in while he was still here um, and when she went into heat this past week or two I can't remember the exact date um, I looked out at the calendar and it worked out that we could get a litter in before we move and I don't know if this is going to be Macy's last litter it's just going to depend on the housing situation I mean Obviously, everybody understands that housing is very difficult right now, um, and interest rates are very high, so we just have a unique situation always moving. Um, so we may end up on base, which would limit the amount of animals that I can have. Um, and so this may be Macy's last litter. Um, it just depends on if we, oh, bless you. Um, it just depends on if we end up um, on base or buying something out in town or getting into a rental situation where I could do that out in town. So, um, anyway, if you're interested in one of the puppies, go ahead and get an application in. Um, I have a ton of interest for Harlequin, Harlequin males, and then um, I have a ton of interest for Merle males. Um, so go ahead and get your name in, um, on the waiting list if you're interested. Um, it is a $500 deposit, but if we don't have the color that you want, um, I'll refund that because I know with Great Danes especially, people are very peculiar about the colors that they want and I completely understand. I love the Harlequin. Um, so, um, go ahead and get your application and get your name on the list for them. And then if we don't have the color or you're on the list and we don't have enough of the color that you want, I'll refund your money once the puppies are born and we see what colors we have. Um, so anyway, um, I'll try to make an extra video about um, the whole semen and how we go about breeding um, because I don't really have time right now. I have to eat <laughs> and I have to get back home before the boys get off the bus. Um, so I'll, I'll make a separate video and kind of attach it to this one talking about that. But if you have any questions, please let me know. I know, I know with the last litter, people were curious about how we do the breeding and, um, you know, kind of start to finish. I mean, it's kind of interesting. Um, I'm going to try this time to put in uh, videos of the birth, but it was very chaotic last time. And I just, I honestly, I forget to pick up the camera and to take pictures and things like that. So I'm going to try to be better. What happened, baby? What happened? Oh, you spilt it. Was that cold? I bet it was. Anyway.
So that's a good place to end it. So just ask me any questions. Um, if you have any questions or email me or Facebook, if you have any questions about this upcoming litter, very excited about um, the stud. It is Miles, I think grandfather. Um, Miles was the stud we used last time with Cheshire Great Danes. And um, this is Tonka and Tonka is like Shailene, the owner. It's like her her good champion dog. So I'm very excited about that to see what puppies we get out of this litter. Um, and uh, Tonka's beautiful. Go to the website, you'll be able to see it as soon as I get it loaded. Um, his pictures and then Macy's pictures. And, um, and you can see the puppies from the last litter to kind of give you an idea of what our puppies look like.